So we're going to first pencil on a few simple shapes. I'm just going to work with circles today. Now if I were working in the positive, I'd just start filling these in with color. But since I'm working in the negative, I'm not painting my shapes in with color, I'm surrounding it with the color. I'll lay out a little bit of paint to begin with. I'll start with cerulean blue, a nice light value blue. I'll add a little water to it. I want to maintain a good descriptive edge that will show my circle, show the form. And I'm just stroking the color on in a nice even application around my shapes. My shapes are a little wobbly, but if you would like yours uh, to look a little more refined or more particular, you could cut out paper templates of circles or use a coin to trace around. That's all there is to the first layer. So my first layer a little circle will be the white of the paper. My second layer, I've applied the cerulean blue. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. We're back with our project now, and it's bone dry, which it needs to be to work on with our next layer. So let's get started. We're going to tuck our shape underneath. I'm just repeating the circles. Now I'm going to apply my color around these shapes. I'm going to use a slightly dark color of blue. This is cobalt blue and mix up a nice glaze. And I know my edges will hold because the paper is dry. I'm painting around my first shapes as well as the new shapes that I've penciled in. You can use any shape that you'd like. I've chosen a circle because it's simple for this illustration. Working the color right out to the edges of my paper. If I splash over, I'm not going to worry too much about it. And if I get a back run, which is very likely, it's not a problem because it will be covered up by any subsequent layers. So that completes our second layer. So our first layer of the white circles, then the cerulean blue, and now we have a layer of cobalt blue. Again, this has to dry so we can get started on the third layer. We're ready to get the next layer in. So once again, the shape is going to be tucked underneath my existing shapes. Still repeating the circle. I can also put a, a, a circle on its own out here, isolate it. As long as I'm not drawing over top of something, I can add another shape. So let's put a little bit of color on now. I'm going to drop the value down once again. This is a darker blue. This is a phthalo blue. Work it down to a nice glaze and start getting the color on. Painting around my shapes. It helps if you remind yourself that you're not painting the circles, you're painting the space around them. So again, we'll just go over this one more time. The first layer is the white of the paper. Then we worked with cerulean blue for the lightest blue. Next layer on dry paper was cobalt blue, finishing up with a phthalo blue, our darkest value. So I've built uh, actually four layers with three layers of paint. In this particular project, I was working on building the value of the painting. It works from light to dark. 